The struggle for supremacy is eternal, inevitable. Victory is the natural objective of every creature on this world. They will kill and die for their kind to dominate. Some call this eternal struggle equilibrium, the balance between light and darkness. These are dark times, times without hope. Men of faith claim that this is a test from God to strengthen our spirit. Perhaps this is true, or perhaps it is simply a pious lie. If it is true, darkness has come to engulf one's proud humanity, and we are witnessing the end of mankind. Look upon me, hypocrite! Gaze upon glorious death!
Oblivion. Sempiternum. Daemonis. Congratulations. You have done well, my friend. I see you have united the powers. Excellent. We can now end this. Once and for all. Come. Yes. Let's bring an end to this charade. Finally, it is time for the truth. Let us remove our masks. You are the Lord of the Necromancers. The final Lord. Now you begin to understand. Yes, Gabriel. It was I who cast the spell that separated the Earth from the heavens. I knew this would force my brothers and sister in heaven to contact the Order here on Earth. The prophecy was their little ray of hope in the dark. We Lords of Shadow, as you call us, have been impotent for far too long, fixed in an uneasy truce for many centuries, each possessing our share of the power, but each unable to have mastery over the others. Until now. I grew so tired of these years of proliferation, a constant truce between the three of us, each unwilling to concede or cooperate with the others. They were too blind to see the potential in the power we held. If only it were combined. I desired that ultimate power and was prepared to probe the very depths of hell in search of knowledge to acquire it. I fought hordes of demons and became strong. Then a force so vast and terrible entered into me, expanding my knowledge of the dark arts until it reached unimagined heights. All I needed was someone to restore the luminous power of the spirits according to the prophecy, and you have been the perfect dupe. Of course, I couldn't arouse their suspicions that it was I who desired the power for my own. No. I used the prophecy as my cover. And you, my shining knight. I will not allow you to stand in my way, Zobek. I'm sure you won't. But you really have no say in the matter, my dear friend. I could quite easily kill you for your insolence. But fortunately, there is no need. What do you mean? The gauntlet will do it for me. As I told you, dark power is my dominion, forged in the pits of hell no less. There was just the small matter of the child and her protector. But you came through with flying colors. I needed your strength of will and courage to complete the quest. But I couldn't risk you becoming too powerful. I needed to control you at the end, once you had murdered them. I knew you would never be able to challenge me whilst wearing it. Poor little Claudia. Such a sweet thing. No. You have exceeded even my wildest expectations, killing and butchering your way to victory. There is a terrible darkness in you, my friend. Your burning desire to resurrect your darling Marie has blinded you to it. As you slept, 
I was able to influence you with this mask. But even I did not foresee the beast that lay within. It was all too easy to make you kill them. Your penchant for murder and death were insatiable. You just needed a little nudge, and off you would go in search of the one thing that could bring her back. Yes, Gabriel, now you finally understand. It was you who murdered your wife. No! You lie! Bastard! Search your soul, Gabriel. You know it to be true. I was worried she would reveal my charade to you at the lake. But it seems she had a false hope that even a killer such as you could redeem himself and save the world. Even the child, Claudia, could see her own demise at your hands. And yet she also trusted in you to the bitter end. Glorious, isn't it? God himself sees you for what you are. A cold-blooded murderer. Beyond redemption? Beyond hope. Let me free you of your heavy burden. Goodbye. Old friend. <laughs> Hail, mighty Zerubag. Who's that? Who? Don't you remember me? I came to you in the void. I granted you knowledge and power. Power that you could never have obtained on your own. Surely you haven't forgotten. In fact, I planted the idea for this whole elaborate ruse into your tiny mind in order to serve my own higher purpose. I no longer need your assistance. The power is now mine. No! No! Father, I come for you. Before the end, you will bow down to me! It is your time, Gabriel. Don't be afraid. Come with us. Join us. Get away from him. Don't wake him. Don't touch him! You cannot have him! <laughs> if you take him, we are all lost. Darkness will triumph, and there will never, ever be peace or hope. We will be trapped here forever. Don't you see? 
We must grant him the power to go back. Will he free us? Will we see the light that was promised? I believe in him. His heart is pure. He is our last hope. Our only hope. So, he has abandoned you too. So be it. Join me. I will love you more than he. I was adored once above all others. I too didn't deserve to be cast out, abandoned. Now you know what that feels like, don't you? Hate can bring us back, give us strength, embrace it. It is what is in men's hearts that he cares about. He loves you as he loves me. We have only to ask for forgiveness deep within ourselves and be welcomed back. You monkeys don't deserve redemption. It is my divine right to rule by his side as an equal, or perhaps more than that. You would rather rule in power and might than to offer forgiveness and love. This is why you are cast out, unholy one. You dare to challenge me? You will die for your blasphemy. Your soul belongs to me. <laughs>
I ask forgiveness and mercy for those that I have wronged. What I did, I did unknowingly. Yet I would change everything if I could. He isn't listening, Gabriel. Your fate is fixed. Every man has the power to repent. I have faith in that. Forgive me. Forgive me. My God. I will introduce her to such pleasures. Her soul will go only to him. Once I have finished with you, Angel. Fallible, yet capable of great things. I loved you then, as I love you now. I see before me a man who has regained God's favor, and who has my forgiveness, and the forgiveness of all the lost souls of this world. You have saved us all, and you have saved yourself. It is too late for me, my love. I cannot come back. No. No, don't go. It is my time. The light is calling. I'm not no. afraid. Please, stay. Stay with me. It's beautiful, Gabriel. So beautiful. It's calling to me. Calling. I love you, Marie. I love you.
Gabriel. Hear me, Gabriel. I need your help. I... I am afraid. It's not safe for me here anymore. I have no one left to turn to. Gabriel, you must help me. I'm glad you came. Follow me. I know how you're feeling. Alone, betrayed. You get used to it, you know? That isn't true. Or you would not have spared me that day. Do you now regret it? You called me here. Why? You've destroyed the Lords of Shadow, but in doing so, you have unleashed a greater evil. And what is it you want me to do about it? A powerful demon is coming. A creature that knows no pity or mercy, and who is bent on destroying this world. Very few know that long ago, before the Lords of Shadow came, there was a fierce battle here. The three founding members of your brotherhood fought a creature called the Forgotten One. This creature had been summoned by the evil Bernard family, who owned the castle at the time. But things went badly wrong for them. The Forgotten One escaped its bonds. The founders knew they could not destroy the Forgotten One, so they waited for their opportunity during the fight and locked up the demon in a dimensional rift that they created using their combined powers. This fortress was used for that prison, and the Brotherhood built new areas around it to house the creature deep within. As you know, years later the Founders transcended as heavenly spirits, in the process creating the Lords of Shadow. It was not by chance that my mother chose this particular castle. Carmilla hated the other lords, but she feared what could happen if the Forgotten One should ever escape. You have destroyed them, and so the power that kept the Forgotten One locked within his prison has been weakened. It's only a matter of time before he breaks free and returns to the world. I care not for the world or its problems. Then you are a fool! The creature will simply reduce this world to ashes in revenge for centuries of captivity. Everyone will die. There will be nowhere to hide. We are the only ones with power enough to stop him. Tell me, would you have the souls of the innocent on your conscience for eternity? Then show me what I must do. The portal is open. I will go in. You stay here. Wait! You will die! The other side is no place for humans. Only dark beings can survive there. There is darkness in me. Yes, but there is also love, compassion, and tenderness. You must leave it all behind. 
You must become a creature like me. Drink my blood. Its power can protect you once you get to the other side. I'm sorry, you have no choice. I know. I never did. Blood is running through your veins. It is a powerful poison that will soon kill you. You must keep drinking from me. What? No. My blood must completely replace yours. You must continue to the last drop. Many lifetimes I have lived. Many I have killed. All my power will be yours now. No. Laura, please. Do it now or you will die. Free me from this miserable existence. I beg you. Free me. What is this, a human here? 
Who are you? Fool! I am your destroyer, demon. You! Pathetic mortal. Nothing can overcome my power. That outfit. You are a warrior of the Brotherhood. But... Something about you is different. Your soul is... Unusual. Mark my words, when I am through with you, you will beg for your miserable life! <laughs> is that so? You think you could defeat me now that part of my power is destroying the seal? Hear me, warrior. My power is unlimited. I will strip the living flesh from your body and devour your soul. Enough talk! <laughs> How about you? Estimated you. You are a worthy rival. However, you must know that you will not prevail here. I grow tired of your idle boasts. Trust me, they will be the last thing you will ever hear. to end yourself now, warrior, by your own hand. <laughs> you will suffer. That, I can promise. You will never find peace. In light, no darkness.
you have no comprehension of what you are up against. <sighs> the seal is open. I'll enter your world now. It will be reduced to ashes, and I shall inflict ten times the pain and suffering that were inflicted upon me when I was imprisoned by your brotherhood. <laughs> I'll let you live. So you can witness your complete and utter failure. <laughs> Freedom at last.
An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Don't you think? Zobek. Yes, old friend. It is I. Where have you been all this time? Out there. Amongst the living. And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. Isent Dracul! No doubt, you once were. But alas, look at you now. Hmm. A mere shadow of your former self. Shadow, am I? What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. He is unlikely to welcome both of us with open arms. Don't you think? Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity. It is time to get out of this wretched tomb you have made for yourself. Stop skulking in the shadows. Don't you care that he will enslave you? I know what it is you yearn for. I cannot die. Yet. I cannot live. Help me. And I can free you of your immortality. Soon, it will be over.